We've been hearing a lot lately about Amazon, the world's biggest online retailer, because recently the leaders of Vancouver, as well as their counterparts in pretty much every other North American city, have been trying to entice the tech giant to come build a second headquarters. That raised the question, we thought, of where in Metro Vancouver could you put a tech campus for a giant like Amazon? Now, in their request for proposals, the company has said that they're looking for a greenfield site of about 100 acres where it can foster a sense of place and be pedestrian friendly. So we were talking within the newsroom. We talked to some other civic commentators about what could be some possible locations, not just in Vancouver, but in the broader Vancouver area where you could host a site like that. To be clear, this list that we put together is just pure speculation and we have absolutely no inside knowledge. But we thought it was kind of a fun exercise. We chatted with our friend Andy Yan, the director of the city program at Simon Fraser University, and he said he thinks even if Vancouver doesn't win the Amazon bid, having talks like this as a region, not just different cities, individual cities, but as a broader metro Vancouver region, is still helpful. Because uh, even if we don't get Amazon, it's still helpful to look at the regional development uh, on a broader scale, where the economic and job creation opportunities might be. So the first place that we looked at on our list was the Langara Golf Course. It's one of Vancouver's three municipally owned golf courses. The only reason this came into my mind anyways was when I filed a story earlier in the week mentioning the Amazon bid with a line mentioning Amazon looking for 100 acres of greenfield space, a keen-eyed copy editor, Dave Carrick, inserted a helpful reference for local readers saying roughly the same size as Langara Golf Course. When I saw that reference he inserted, it got me thinking, well, Maybe Langara could be a site for that. Uh, recently, civic politicians, including the Park Board and the current mayor, Gregor Robertson, in the last few years have talked about redeveloping Langara, either shrinking it from 18 holes down to 9 holes, or closing it all together, either to make room for a more accessible park space, or to make ho affordable housing developments. So the redevelopment of Langara has been on the table, and it's very close to a Canada Line station. It's beside a post-secondary institution, and it's quite accessible, both from downtown Vancouver as well as suburbs like Burnaby and Richmond, and it's pretty central in the middle of Vancouver. Another possibility, one of the only ones that we thought might make sense within Vancouver proper, was the False Creek Flats area. On the east side of False Creek, it's kind of an underdeveloped area with lots of low-slung warehouses and kind of light industrial space. There's already some tech companies there, and the city of Vancouver is right now trying to come up with a plan for redeveloping it with a futuristic kind of plan. Out of all the areas that we looked at, it was probably, we thought, the most analogous to the South Lake Union area in Seattle, which is where Amazon's primary headquarters is, and Amazon's primary headquarters, which is huge and expanding and has totally, totally changed and transformed that South Lake Union area, which was once pretty sleepy, kind of a ghost town, lots of empty warehouses and stuff like that, empty parking lots and service stations. And then looking into the suburbs, we looked at Innovation Boulevard in Surrey, which is a kilometer-long stretch of King George Boulevard that the city of Surrey is trying to sort of promote as a, a tech hub and biosciences, and things like that. There's a big and expanding Simon Fraser campus there, as well as other post-secondary institutions. And there's space. There's more space that's developable and redevelopable around there than there would be in downtown Vancouver. And uh, there's lots of infrastructure that they've in invested in to host tech companies. And then we also looked at Burnaby, uh, on the south side of Burnaby Mountain, uh, south of Simon Fraser University's main campus, there's the Production Way area where there's lots of light industrial space that maybe could have potential to be developed or redeveloped into something like a tech campus. It's close to the SkyTrain with the Production Way station right there, and obviously it's also close to Simon Fraser University's main campus, and Simon Fraser is one of the stakeholders that's been involved in the uh, Amazon bid being led by the Vancouver Economic Commission. So the deadline for the Vancouver Economic Commission to submit its proposal to Amazon is coming up fairly quickly. It's October 19th. And a lot of observers feel like it's still quite a long shot that for Vancouver to get Amazon in here. But we thought it was an interesting thing to look at potential different sites where something like this, even if it's not Amazon, but something like this could happen. And if you've got any other ideas, please feel free to get in touch. Shout at me on Twitter. The handle is at Fumano, F-U-M-A-N-O or email at dfumano at postmedia.com.